Welcome back. Now, before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And looking to our top business story, deposits at UAE banks rose 7.5% in the first half of the year, off the back of a rise in resident deposits. According to the UAE Central Bank's latest monetary data for June, month-on-month -month deposits grew 0.7% to reach 1.255 trillion dirhams in June. It added that for H1, loans and advances grew 4.4%, while monetary aggregate, or M2, increased by 7.8%. Money supply aggregate, or MO, currency in circulation, plus currency at banks, fell 1% from 60 billion dirhams at the end of May to 59.4 billion at the end of June. Additionally, total loans and advances by banks and financial institutions showed a growth of 1.4% to 1.147 trillion dirhams in June, while total bank assets slightly grew by 0.2% to reach 1.878 trillion dirhams in the same month, compared with the previous month. Low-cost carrier Fly Dubai has officially launched ticket sales for its new business class service that starts in October. According to a company statement, Fly Dubai CEO Gaith Al Gaith was quoted as saying that they plan to add more business class destinations to their network by the end of the year. Fly Dubai's first flight to offer business class will be flight FZ729 from Dubai to Kiev on October the 8th. While the other business class routes starting in October will include Malé, Istanbul, Mineralnye Vodi and Bucharest. The airline also revealed that they received their first business class aircraft at the beginning of August, while existing aircrafts will also be refitted to include the premium option. The most popular handset used in the UAE is the Samsung S3, representing 2.6% of all registered smartphones. That's according to the latest findings from a TRA report. The Telecommunications Regulatory Authority has revealed the second quarter findings of the Smartphone and Mobile Operating Systems Review, which found that the Samsung model was followed by the iPhone 4S with 2.5%, the iPhone 4 with 2% ahead of the iPhone 5 and BlackBerry Bold 9900, both with 1.9%. In terms of mobile manufacturers, as of June, Nokia currently enjoys the largest market share with 56.4%. Samsung has the second largest market, market share of 13.8%, followed by BlackBerry with 10.7% and then Apple with 7.4%. Additionally, smartphone penetration as of June this year stands at 44%. The TRA's review also offers analysis of the UA's social media realm. Facebook was by far the most popular site with a total of 13.2 billion visits, representing 87% of the total visits to all social networking websites during the period, the 1st of April through to the 30th of June. Visits to Twitter came in second with 11% of the total visits, with 1.7 billion, and then LinkedIn with 282 million. MacTube and MySpace achieved 8 million and 5 million visits, respectively. With 73% penetration, internet usage in the UAE currently exceeds both MENA and worldwide averages, which stand at 41% and 51%, respectively. Benhendi Enterprises has signed a deal with business software company SAP that will deliver a series of solutions aimed at streamlining the company's day-to-day -day operations and creating greater transparency. SAP's scope of work includes business suite on HANA, business objects and industry-specific solutions for retail and merchandising, and all aspects of the project will be mobile-enhanced. 
The project looks to improve areas such as the Human Resources Department's ability to strategically manage the workforce, and it will also have a dramatic impact for the group's finance, procurement and retail teams, notably for seamlessly integrating accounting and payroll, as well as boosting visibility and real-time planning capabilities for budgets, ever-changing stock demands and merchandising strategies. Moedin Binhendi, the president and chairman of the board of Binhendi Enterprises, was quoted as saying that greater agility and transparency will help them achieve new levels of success.